I'm going to read to you Harry and the Dinosaurs Go to School. It was a big day for Harry. He was starting at his new school. It was very exciting because one of his friends, Charlie, was starting that day too. Stegosaurus said he didn't want to go, not after Triceratops told him that no Ra's were in class. Mum said, don't worry, school will be fine. Sometimes you feel a little bit nervous about going to school. Harry blew his whistle just like the teacher. He said, in twos, holding hands, my dinosaurs. No talking, please. Don't jump out your bucket. The dinosaurs did what Harry said. All except Segosaurus. He was so nervous, all his plates were rattling. Harry had to give him a special stroke. Sam said, you can't take dinosaurs to school, silly. That's why her toast then fell on the floor. Oh dear, he's not very happy. Mum took Harry to school. There he is on his bike. He's got a bucket of dinosaurs. Mrs Rance was waiting at the classroom door when Harry and Mum got there. Hello Harry, she said. Welcome to your new school. They all said goodbye to Mum and Dad. Then Miss Rance showed Harry the coat pegs. You can leave your lunchbox here too, she said. Harry was too shy to say, could I have my bucket back? That's why his dinosaurs got left outside the classroom. Oh dear. Harry missed his dinosaurs, so he didn't like the classroom. He didn't like the home corner or his special work tray. And he felt sorry for another new boy with a digger who cried when his mum then went home. The boy didn't say one single word, not even his name. It's a bit tricky sometimes when you're starting somewhere or going back to somewhere and you're feeling a little bit unsure. Harry sort of liked the playground at playtime a bit, but it wasn't much fun. Even the monkey bars were not, with, not fun without the dinosaurs. Mm, he misses them, doesn't he? Back in class, the digger boy still wouldn't speak. Maybe he wants to go to the toilet, said Harry. I'll show him where it is, shall I? Miss Rance said, that's a good idea, how thoughtful. All the way to the toilet, the boy kept really quiet. It was the same on the way back until we got to the coats. Then they heard a voice and a very sad and very soft, Rah! it said. My dinosaur, said Harry. They miss me. Would you like to see them? The boy nodded. So Harry said, this is my Aptiosaurus, and this is my Ankyosaurus, and this is my Skeletosaurus. This is my Triceratops and Tyrannosaurus. Pterodactyl is the baby. Wait, where is Stegosaurus? <laughs> Uh-oh. Jump out, Stegosaurus, called Harry. Don't be shy. But the Stegosaurus. Stegosaurus wanted a whisper. Ah, uh, said Harry. Stegosaurus says he'll come out, but only if I ride on my digger. And do you know what? The boy nodded and he passed it over. When Harry and the boy got back, Mrs. Rant said, Oh, good dinosaurs. I love dinosaurs. Do they roar? Oh, she loves them. Rah! said the dinosaurs. And they blew open the window. Oh, my goodness, said Miss Rance. That was a rah. <laughs> they all sat down to the classroom. Now, we're going to make new labels for our coat pegs, said Miss Rance. Hands up, who knows how to write their name? The boy with the digger put his hand straight up. What are you going to write, said Mr. Rance. Jackasaurus, said the boy. It was the very first word he had said all day. What a good joke too. And all the other children laughed. He's found something he likes. He now feels confident to talk. Harry felt happy. Ch 
Charlie, Harry and their new friend Jack sat down together at the table with dinosaurs. They laughed and they roared and they made beautiful labours to show where they belonged. And there's all the dinosaurs. Hopefully when you go back to school or you start a new school, you will feel that there's other children that you can talk to or things that you have in common and that you will then have a lovely day and not feel quite so nervous as you did when you first left home.